hello guys welcome back so in the previous video we have completed the login feature and you already know that after the successful login we also save the user data we save the user data to the local storage using the shared preferences with the key name current user so the key name current user contain the user information for example the user id user name user password and user email now the reason we have stored this data after successful login is because we have to remember that user. For example, now in this video the first feature that we will implement related to that is that is when the user login successfully. So when the user close the app and open up the app again, then that user if the user is already logged in, then the user will be automatically sent to the dashboard screen, to the main screen and not to the login screen again until unless the user click on the logout button from the main screen from the dashboard screen only then the user will be logged out from the app so i hope you get the idea now let us quickly implement that so first of all uh, right click on user preferences new dot file and we will create a file by the name current underscore user current user so current user dot dot file is created inside the user preferences and now in here we need to create a class and we will give it name as current user which will extends the as you know we are using getx stat management so we will use the getx controller rx user model class underscore current user equals to user zero comma single quotes comma single quotes comma single quotes dot obs user get user and get user from current user dot value you will create a method by the name get user info asynchronous method and we can say user get user info from local storage okay which we have saved with the key name current user so how we can get as you know we have saved it with the help of shared preferences instance okay by the key name current user so I mean we can easily get it by simply saying here that is remember user prefs just like we have saved okay save remember user in the same way uh, we can get that uh, by the key name current user okay that whole information which we saved so for that purpose let's create quickly a new method here inside the remember user prefs class and we can give it name as get or you can say read user info now So in this method we have saved the user info to the phone local storage with the help of shared preferences by the key name current user and in this method which we are going to implement now in this method we will now retrieve or you can say get or read that user info static future void we can say read user Let's create an instance of the user model class which will be by the name current user or you can say current user info and just like we create an instance here while we were saving the user information in the same way we can do that here we create an instance of the shared preferences now here we have set the string while here 
we will get that string so we can say for references dot get string and the key name by which key name we have saved you already know that we have saved the information to the key name current user so we can get from the same key name that information which is saved in JSON data format okay user JSON data format you know that I hope you remember that I have explained this in detail in the previous video so we get that current user details by the key name current user and of course we will assign this to a variable user info so now user info basically contain the information make sure to write here this question mark okay so we will check that if the user info which we get which we get from the phone local storage by the key name current user we will check if that is not equals to null that is it must contain the user current information so we will check if this is not equals to null then you remember that while we were saving it we convert we encode that okay we can uh, convert or you can say encode that to json format so as you know the data which we get now here from the local phone storage it is now in json format okay it is now in json format we have to convert it uh, to the normal format that is from json so for that purpose we can simply say json decode you can say that in simple words here we encode the data here now we will decode the data to normal format while here we encode it to the json format here we will decode it to the normal format so anyways let's just quickly do that we can say user info we record that data and we will assign this to map format map string dynamic now string dynamic string represents the key name while dynamic represents the value well you can be of any data type that is double int integer and so on and let's give it name as uh, user data map so that decoded data we assign to the user data map now uh, as you know we have to I mean convert it to f from JSON we have to get that data basically to the normal format we have to convert so for that purpose we can simply say user dot from JSON okay we have to get it from the from JSON as it is in the JSON format so we will pass our user data map to it just like this and then we will assign this data to our this current user info current user info so now current user info contain the user information that user information which we serve to the local phone storage in the previous video okay we get that from the local phone storage we record that data and from JSON we get that data and we assign it to our current user info so in simple words the remember part you can say we uh, implement in this method okay let's give it proper names instead of calling it save remember user let's give it the proper method name which will be only save user or you can say store user store user data or store user info you can say store user info okay this is the proper name for this method while this will be read user info and as you know that this method we have called from our uh, login screen which is this one so we can simply call up here save dot the method name which we change store user info okay so we can now say here on the login screen that is store user info just like this okay just do this change so using proper and appropriate uh, names are good practice okay for development so that's why I change the method names in front of you so please change this to proper names so this will be store user info this one is read user info 
So now, as you know that our current user info contain the uh, online user information. So now we have to return that. Okay. So the return statement for this method we will change to as you know it will return the user info so you can say future user okay just like this so it will now return the user information so after the if statement we can simply say return current user info just like this so now let's come back to our current user dot dot file and here we can say that remember user preference earned user preference dot read user info and then as we have to wait for the response okay that is the response from this method as you know it is future method so as you know that when we call this method here which is read user info okay this method so you know that this method will return us the current user information which we get from the phone local storage okay which we convert to the normal format and that data we return it from here so as it is returning from here then when we call up this method then it will assign that current user information to this okay get user info from local storage so this uh, variable of type user model class this now contain this information current user info okay current user information is assigned to this variable so then this information which is get user info from local storage we will assign this to our underscore current user dot value just like this add an check here so now as you know uh, on the dashboard screen we have to basically call over this current user so let's go back to our dashboard of fragments dot dot file and here above the widget build what we can do is we can create an instance of our current user and we will get we will give this instance name as remember current user as you know it will perform this feature okay that is remember the user information so you can say get dot put current user and then in here let's remove this first and we can say get builder as we are using get extract management okay so you can say get builder in it the current user then in its state let's give it name as current state that is either the user is already logged in or not and let's make this current user instance private by simply writing here this underscore okay underscore so underscore remember current user so we can say underscore remember current user dot get user info just like this and then after the init stat we have builder controller return scaffold widget now in the next video we will implement the bottom navigation bar with multiple buttons alongside with the logout button and that buttons will be assigned to our fragment screens which we will create in the upcoming videos so yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now